Hello everybody, this is Captain Hannah and welcome back to Project Hospital. So today we are going to be building a hospitalization apartment in our internal medicine. So uh, what I've decided is that I think the emergency department's hospitalization section, because it's only got four areas that need building, I think I'm still going to stick to having it down here. Um, so it's next to our emergency department which kind of makes sense logistically anyway um and it's next to the ambulance uh, drop off point which is good um and i'm gonna build the hospitalization for internal medicine on the next floor up so that's what we're gonna do today you'll notice we've still got to build the ct in the uh mri room that's fine we've got a healthy budget so i'm not too worried um and also completing this um, hospitalization section is also going to grant us 15 extra patients a day um, which will mean that we'll be able to finally solve this little riddle up here of treat 45 patients a day which will then increase clinic patients per day to 25 so we're going to have you know lots more patients for lots more opportunities to make some money so I think that's what we're going to do today so the first thing I need to do is sort out where the elevator is going to go and I think it should be here. Um, so to do that, I'm gonna go internal medicine department. Um, and we go, oh no, my bad, my bad. This is this is still a bit complicated to me actually. <laughs> so building mode, constructions and floors, elevators, um, and the elevator is gonna go there. Possibly there. I'm going to put it there. Lovely. Um, and then we're going to go internal medicine, elevator planner, because you still have to plan it out. So to be fair, I've probably done this the wrong way around. Um, but yeah, there, there it is. Uh, so let's just correct some of the walls. So there we go. It's, it's really, really simple for these patients that come out of the internal medicine department. They can go straight in the elevator and then go to the uh, the wards um, as the doctors see fit. So let's sort out this little speckle of carpet. There we go. And then what you need to do, because you've made sure you've, pl you've plonked the floor plan down. You've also put the elevator in. You then need to go up a floor. So what you do, I believe, is go here to Foundations Operations and you click Add New Floor. If you were to use these buttons here, you probably noticed these by now. You go floor up, there's nothing up here, it doesn't let you do anything. That's because you've not technically added the new floor yet. So you add new floor. You've got these options to copy floor tiles um, or copy the walls. So I'm just going to start fresh. So I'm just going to go build new floor. The elevator is automatically included. So that will pop up to there. And then this is, this is the area you've got to work with. So all the foundations are already made. Uh, but we do need to add all the external walls. Um, but for now, I think we should probably just plan out where we're going to put that. Uh, so it's hospitalization is over here. Um, I think what we should do, I think the wards should probably be quite close to this. So I'm going to do that is a regular ward and that's an HD ward my dependency but I'm gonna have them looking as though they're two uh, there's one room um, so there's those two and I'm gonna have a six by six doctors and a six by six nurses um, and I'm going to have to have the treatment rooms, aren't I? Um, oh, this is going to be interesting. I've just realised because here, if we were to do this, it's kind of like a hole. <laughs> so here you could have, have these walls all the way around. And then we can have these. That's quite cool. 
um, and then carpet <laughs> kind of do a little bit of a mock grass <laughs> okay it's pretty pretty weird eh and then you know this could be some kind of a little waiting area in fact maybe we can put go back to internal medicine maybe we can put the lounge there quite cute because in here yeah it's like little coffee tables and stuff that's quite a nice little area um okay so back to business so let's pop the walls up In fact, I'm actually going to move these because I've just thought what we need to have for this is um, a toilet that's actually quite near it because the patients wake up every day and they need to go and uh, relieve themselves. So let's do best room. Best room. There we go. And then here we'll put the on call rooms. So. we will have them going along here six by six six by six and a six by six Hang on. one two three four mm. i wonder if, oh i wonder if we can put like a roof garden along this side that might be quite nice um because we do need to do a staff room i did a staff room one to that and then i'll add on two to that yeah there we go um nice and then i think i'm gonna put a cleaning closet or at least a section for a cleaning closet uh probably in here and then just for now i'll do this whole area corridor so this gives us plenty of room to expand our wards um, so we could potentially build, you know, two extra wards here if we wanted to. That sounds good, doesn't it? Okay, so let's just add on these walls then. And then out of interest, can I put grass on here? No. How do I put grass? Well, I've seen people put grass on roofs. Maybe I need to uh, do a little bit of Googling myself to try and work out how they do that. Unless we just do a big patio or something out here. We can put some vending machines and stuff. That sounds quite good, doesn't it? Um, but for now, that's all we need. So, okay, let's start, let's start decorating. So let's do our regular ward first. So here we go. see how we go
all right uh oh you know what i've forgotten to put windows into this one it would not be happy with me if i forgot those oh and a plant <gasps> how dare i all such details um just for my benefit i can like park there because i can't really see them there um i quite like it so i ended up splitting them kind of half and half with walls because i don't know i just i don't think that works you know i kind of think that works um could probably do a little bit more decoration so have like this is a cardiography unit so you could some like a heart poster uh, this is diagnostic what poster can we put in diagnostics mm. put some veins And then special procedures unit. Maybe just an info poster. I don't know. <laughs> it's got the Wi-Fi information on it. You know, if you're going to be in a special diagnostics unit, I'm sure you're going to want to know what the Wi-Fi code is. <laughs> um, oh, I have the. I like doing little details of my different flooring. Um, quite cool. Um, I think that's. All good. I think I need to get flooring down. So we're just gonna have white carpet. That's our basic. Three thousand seven hundred dollars that cost. Just this little section here. Isn't that insane? Uh, so yeah, that's it. So we need to hire. Oh, we need to finish that wall. So that wall looks a bit gross, doesn't it? Right, let's just do a quick check. I mean, I will admit it is looking a little bit bland up here, but over time we will we will fix that. So please try not to judge me too hard right now. <laughs> um, yeah, we will we will get this sorted. Because um, I don't think there's no. Oh, I have that little bit. Yeah. Other extra bits are gonna come back to haunt me. People are gonna shout at me in chat. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's um that's all good. Uh, let's just have a quick look. Uh, exclamation point, which is just missing stuff. So that's the only thing we've got missing. So let's do the basics. Let's do a cleaning person. One, and I think we're probably gonna have to have two because it's quite a big department. I don't know that one. Um, the staff during the day, we're gonna go bare minimum initially. I think till we need more. So let's do. Do this guy. And this. Do this one. And then our nighttime staff. Oh, dirty feet. Hmm. Oh, I don't really like any of these. I think I'll just go for this one for now. Uh, and then nighttime doctor. We'll do. We'll just do this guy. There we go. Um. I don't know if we're gonna have one of these um i'm not gonna hire one of those yet until we need one a heart technician i'm not gonna yeah i'm not gonna do that one i'm not gonna have a cleaning person overnight yet either um, are these all of our beds ready to be filled uh what i'm gonna do is come back down here and we're actually going do we wait no so basically what I was going to come down and do is to hire night staff, but actually I'm just going to see what happens first before I start spending all this money hiring all these members of staff. We're just going to give this a go for a little bit and see, see what it feels like. Because currently, you know, we've got no one up here. So we need to let this business build a little bit. service being taken around on a stretcher marvelous oh look see this okay we're gonna start getting this now so mri is one of the suggested things to have we'll just have to see how she gets on although they're pretty convinced that it's this so gotta trust our staff sometimes so when you see patients that have that have their arms crossed and they're walking about is there another one uh, I can't see one right now. They kind of walk around and they look like they're in a lot of pain. <laughs> you can see ones that are hobbling tend to have broken bones or something. 
Um, yeah, ones with their arms folded tend to be really ill, and chances are they'll go into the into the hospital. So, get into the ward, rather. Fast forward on her, you'll see. What oh, okay. I'm gonna pause here for a second. So here, if you've got it pulsating, and it's the two hidden symptoms, it means that they have something there that means that they are going to uh, collapse, which means they're gonna to need to go to an ICU, which we don't have. <laughs> so the idea is you need to try and catch that symptom before it happens. Um, so I'm gonna perhaps take over from her. I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, I'm going to see MRI. Oh, maybe we need to do it. We've got enough money. Can we do it? Yeah, let's do it. These rooms are huge. Did I do a mistake making them this big? I think maybe I did. Maybe let's 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 rethink this a moment. I think when we're a little bit more established, I might readdress how these rooms look. We've got a bit more budget. Um, I'm not entirely happy, to be honest, with how everything's looking. I like to catch that kind of thing early. <laughs> there. Okay, and then we've got a pop waiting room. Let's pop some chairs out there. Uh, and then we've got two. Weeks. And we've actually got to hire somebody. Even though they might have a long commute. Now we've got this all done. Can I put windows in? Nope. I think the next episode I might go around and just kind of alter the look and feel of everything just to make sure I'm happy that I'm not, you know, skipping and just jumping ahead and just rushing things because I do, I like the attention to detail, you know, and I kind of feel like I'm missing, missing out on some of that. So, um, yeah, we'll do that in the next episode, I think. Okay. Right, so now we've got this. We've got our guy. Let's send her to the MRI and hopefully we'll find out what that that missing horrible collapsing symptom is. And we can treat it. Oh, we still haven't found it. Oh maybe an X-ray. Gotta get it quick. Follow her. She's gonna talk to a doc. Oh no. Oh wait, no, it's here. We need that. Why are we waiting so long? Hospitalizer. My goodness, here we go. Where's she going? Oh, good. Okay, she's getting her X-ray. Yeah, she needs to be hospitalized. Hopefully, she gets there before she collapses. Oh, yep, she's got to have a wee first. <laughs> Come on, go, go, go. Here we go. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Oh dear. Oh, I've only got one. Oh, 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 no, no. Oh gosh. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Doctor's busy. Oh, oh, he's disappearing. I have to wait now for the other doctor to turn up. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Please, 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 please come for our girl. Yes! Okay. Hopefully we're going to save her. There we go. Ooh. Oh, guys. That was a lot. That was a lot for my little heart to take. Thank heavens I've got a cardiography unit now. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so I think we're going to leave it there. So I know we've only covered one day, but we have done a lot of building. Um, I appreciate it's not finished. You know, there's a huge gap here. Um, I think 
yes next episode we'll we'll sort out some of the outstanding decoration we'll go through and do a little bit of an audit of how everything looks if there's anything extra that we can do um and yeah we'll probably just finish off this section as well and maybe do a little bit more gameplay so if you liked this video please hit the thumbs up button and if you want to see some more please hit subscribe please any comments or queries or anything please just comment down below i would be happy to chat to you um you know i'm not an expert on this game so if you guys have come up with something and that's like a hack or whatever i'd really love to hear about it um and until next time happy curing and i'll catch you in the next video goodbye